And then what does the um, epistle of Rav Shavir Gaon add to the work of the Seder Tanayim Ba'amarayim? Now, the question was the relationship. He probably, uh, the most scholarly opinion is he probably relied on or came to correct the misunderstandings that came out of Seder Tanayim Ba'amarayim. He comes to answer a uh, request by the Chachmei Kirwan, the people of Kirwan, who are asking about the Talmud. Who are the Talmud? Who are the Amoraim? How it come about? What the chain of transmission is? And they ask the basic, simple, historical questions about the Talmud. And he comes to answer. The Epistle of Assyria Ragon is the first comprehensive idea to answer and to structure of the different people, how the process came about, who were the Savoraim, how did the Shivot of Gionim came about, right? Because the Shivot of Gionim, Surah Bupedita, were big Shivot, and people were interested to know how did they came about, who found them, when did it happen? So that is uh, the Epistle of Shergon. Epistle of Shergon is a train of transmission, but does discuss about the Talmud and has a lot of valuable information. But like any work that was done by the Gionim, requires interpretation and is open for interpretation, right? But it is a comprehensive analysis or understanding and the traditions by Rav Shiragon, which was the unim of the uh, 10th and 11th century, to try to understand how the Talmud came about.